In adventuring, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Enough procrastinating. Let's go. Knights and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage, but the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail.
bombs so heavy. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Lizard? Want me to show it to you? Yeah. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Mondstadt be bombed. Klee be doomed. Those are the survival rules. Join me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go.
Aristocratic etiquette is all just for show. Just smile and nod along. I was forced to learn all of the rules by heart, but even I don't take them that seriously. I created another universe and founded Paradise, for I, Fischl, and the Princess de Fer oh. You want to learn some Favonia's blade work? <laughs> All right then, I'll teach you. I hear the voice of fate. Work hard Speaking and live my name each day in to humble the supplication. That is what life in Mondstadt is all about, isn't it? I created another universe. A job to do. You can't. <sighs> Let's light it up. Yeah. Yeah. 
and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage, but the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Blitz. Let's light it up! time. Off we go. <sighs> An assassin from our homeland, or a fool? who trespasses upon the waters of Chingsa. Coveting the shapes of the living, pure water can take on many forms. In this way, shall water deliver your punishment! <laughs> the power of water is its ability to take any shape. Things up a Let's light it up! Without solid ground, terrestrial creatures become simply helpless. The power of water is its ability to take any shape. <laughs> Let's light it up! <laughs> That's gonna hurt in the morning! I'm going in! <laughs> Adventure time! <laughs> Let's light it up! <laughs> One who is ignorant of water's treasures fails also to comprehend its horrors. We go!
Beat him. Teamwork is teamwork. <laughs> Let's see what happens when you lose your foothold. <laughs> the power of water is its ability to take any shape. Benny's adventure team, let's... Are you tired? Try my new sp- <laughs> Good things come to those who don't wait up. Benny's adventure team, a set!
da 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 Everyone stopped singing.
Sometimes the law is compatible with human nature, but sometimes the two conflict. Balancing the two is a discipline in its own right. Oh, ow! Where did that come from? Hmm. The case before us is a strange and unprecedented one. Sometimes the law is compatible with human nature, but sometimes the two conflict. Balancing the two is a discipline in its own right. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Hmm. Oh. 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 Or not. The case before us is a strange and unprecedented one indeed. Everything is negotiable, except over time. is what I call a mo- Yeah. 
rain outlines it. At least work. Penny's adventure team must... Rain cut it. 
sword from We go! Adventure time!
Let's light it up! As a dutiful maid will. If my calculations are correct, Wanwen Bookhouse is due to receive a batch of new releases today. Might we add a small detour to our adventure?
Benny's adventure team assemble! It always rains when I go on an adventure. Myself. created another unit work-life balance, but I think this is pushing it.
In adventuring, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Defer er uh. Adventure time!
Adventure time! <laughs> Adventure time! Yeah. Huh. This 
should be fun. <laughs> no slacking <laughs> off! Thank <laughs> you. 
Penny's adventure team assemble! Join me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go. Benny's adventure team, assemble. Penny's adventure team, assemble! Oh. 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 Or not. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Oh, ow! Where did that come from? Adventure team, assemble!
No one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Benny's adventure team assemble. <laughs> We go. Adventure time. We go! Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Ugh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Adventure time!
adventure time! Huh? Uh. Huh? That's gonna hurt in the morning! Off we go! Let me weave you a verse. No, my sword! Don't play! Hey! With sword comes shadow. Teamwork is dreamwork! Adventure time! Huh? Out of the way! <laughs> Adventure time! Get out of here! Out of the way! <laughs> Adventure time! Why do they never... That's gonna... Why do they never miss? Incoming! Hey! Cut to the chase! Rain cutter! Rain outlines your fate! Don't blink! Hello, nice. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Nowhere to hide. Being sword fighting is so much better than this. <sighs> Shame. Didn't man. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Huh. 
Jean's sword fighting is so much better than this. No, my sword! <sighs> Shame. Didn't manage to smash them all in time. Well, if at first you don't succeed... Huh, how can I smash all these training dummies at once? Seems I can't do it. to smash them all in time. Well, if at first you don't succeed, huh, how can I smash all these training dummies at once? Out of the way! Shame. Didn't manage... All these training dummies at once. <sighs> Shame. Didn't manage to. Ugh. to smash them all in time. Well, if at first you don't succeed, huh, how can I smash all these tra- dummies at once. all these training dummies at once. <sighs> Shame. Didn't manage to... Ugh. How can I smash all these training dummies at... <sighs> Shame. Ugh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Gale Blade! Oh, it seems I can't do it. your fate. <sighs> Shame. Didn't man- huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? <sighs> Jean's sword fighting is so much better than this. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Shame. Didn't man- Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? <sighs> Shame. Didn't make. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Jean's sword fighting is so much. <sighs> Shame. Didn't make. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Shame. Didn't man- Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once?
I'm taking the stage. Shame. Didn't manage to. Huh. How can I smash all these training Jeez, dummies at once? Is so much better than this. <sighs> Shame. Didn't make. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? <sighs> Shame. Didn't make. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? <sighs> Shame. Didn't make. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Huh. Jeans huh. Huh. better than this. Huh. Shame. Didn't man. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Time to act. Body and mind. Recently. Oh, finally, I caught you. I have something I'd like the Knights of Pavonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. Really? It must be a good feeling knowing Jean's got your back. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just re <sighs> That would be great. Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls. Oh, help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Thank you. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles the bartender said he's been having some trouble too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. Haven't you heard? There's a few it's been getting quite busy recently. Be safe. May the animal Archon protect you. 
What do you think this is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? <sighs> How rude! Especially since we're here to help! Help? Oh, yes! You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great! Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. Paimon never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow! How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? <sighs> when you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Although, I doubt the acting Grand Master even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Come on, let's go and see Jean. You two! Margaret? What are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? But we're on our way to an urgent meeting with Jean! Sorry! You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence! Paimon thought you were looking for a cat! Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? What's wrong with that? Jean's a really nice person. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Hey! Hey! Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean! Oh, 
Oh, it's our honorary knight. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <coughs> make arrangements accordingly. Great! We didn't miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? Sarah's Hilly Churls, Charles' Tax Return, Margaret's Cat. Seems that's everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Jean, are you okay? How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? While the master is down, the knights should share her burden, no? That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. What should I get? Time to act. Body and mind. I've been waiting for you. I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. So courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, in addition to that thank you message, 
there was one other thing. It's like you read my mind. We have quite a connection, don't you think? Things like helping to fill in for Jean? Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the Honorary Knight is personally overseeing these cases. You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things to... to prepare. <sighs> Fine, then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See you. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly churls on the delivery route? Oh... Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint! You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> Really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful! You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure he can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the good hunter's business. A fight? For this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, yes, right! Today's recommendation... Have you brought me three sweet flowers and three fowls? Yep, that's everything. Now, order number seven is for one sweet madame. And so begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. You did say you'd help Good Hunter out. Be sure to serve it while it's hot. Today's recommendation is the steak. It's been getting quite busy recently. If my calculations are correct, Wandwin Bookhouse is due to...
receive a... Any news on that sweet madame? One sweet madame received. Mmm. This smells absolutely divine. This is nothing less than what I would expect from a head chef, never mind a sous chef. Hmm. Since you cook so well, uh, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. Sticky honey roast? I'm sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. That's right. A mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and joy. The knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Wait, didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? Just like that? With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. <laughs> as soon as that sticky honey roast is ready, please bring it here. Today's recommendation is the steak. I'm still waiting on one sticky honey roast. This is... Wow! Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing! You were born to be a head chef. Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes, thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care of everything else. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter if you want it. Getting quite busy recently. Brightest flames burn fastest.
That's the Jade Chamber. Hmm. Uh, uh, this is bad. Paimon's supposed to be your guide, but Paimon doesn't know where the way up to the Jade Chamber is. Uh, well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby.
Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningguan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. Ugh. Now Paimon's mad. You, over there. This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless. What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! What's all this about? Lady Kuching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Lira Qixing. Who are you? Well, as it happens, 
I am one of the Liyue Qixing. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. I know of you, traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the Chising. Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals, and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Qixing? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way... I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber as the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? But... but... Wait! That's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Liyue's culture! We need to get one! Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Liu's culture. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then, may we meet again, Traveler? Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? Nope! 
need to make it with some boom shakalaka. Let's go gather ingredients. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. Yeah. 